All right, finally, moving on to, equi uh, to field lines and equipotential surfaces, we're going to talk about a few examples. So this shows the electric fields of a vector inside, um, well, inside and outside a uniformly charged sphere. So you have this vector potential that you have, and you want to talk about what it's doing. What you see um, right here is the equipotential line. You can think of this as analogous to your height along a hill. What is how? How much energy do you have? So a positive test particle is going to want to move down the hill. It's going to want to move down in potential. Um, so these these are equi these dashed lines are equipotential surfaces. They tell you when the system is at the same height. So if you have a spherically symmetric system, you're going to see um, you're going to see spherical shells that are the equipotential lines. Here you can see a uh, a dipole, um, and you see the field lines. One thing to note, the field lines are perpendicular to the equipotential surfaces, um, which are shown here. Um, so what you see is that the field points from the positive charge to the negative charge. That is where um, an object wants to roll, if it were rolling down the hill. Um, these, how close these um, equipotential surfaces are, are is corresponds to the strength of the field. So when they are closer together, the field is stronger. Um, and what you see is that they get further apart over here and over here because the, um, the field is not changing very fast. The, it, the height of your potential is not changing, or sorry, the field is not very strong. The height of your potential is not changing very quickly. Um, here you can see a couple more examples. This is two-point negative charges. Um, so they, um, here you can see the equipotential lines and the field lines, and where the field line, where the equipotential lines are closer together, um, you have more field lines. You have a stronger field, and you can visualize this um, with an, you know, with a 2D top of a logical graph. Um, the high points are high potential. So here, if you had a positive charge, it would want to roll down the hill <coughs> towards, towards the hole that you see there. Um, you could show it like this as well. And these color maps are a little harder to read. Um, this is just like if you had a topographical map of some type of object, um, and you see the lines where um, the parallel ele elevation lines, they can help you navigate when you're hiking. Um, and here you can see uh, you see the lines, and then where the lines are closer together, you have a steeper slope. So here it's flat. There's not a lot of lines. That's the top. Um, and as they get closer and closer together, that's where it's going steeper and steeper. This is a really cool monument, by the, this is a really cool um, thing, by the way, and it is totally natural, and it is formed, if I remember correctly, by a by a, an ejection of magma through a surface and then the, through a sedimentary rock, and then the sedimentary rock all um, eroded away. Um, so you guys should definitely go see it. All right.